Hello guys and welcome to another new video and in this video we'll be looking at the big ROM version 3.0 for the Zenfone 5. Now this ROM is based on the dot .52 version of Lollipop which actually came out on June, uh, sorry May of 22nd of May so we'll go into about and software information and as you can see the build number is 3.2 but Instead of that, so there are many modifications. As you can see, the first thing up on top is that status bar icons have been changed. So it's not the same like it used to on Zenfone. And if you bring it down, as you can see, the default theme or the default, you know, the notification tray has been changed. Now, it has brought many features from the, the latest .78 Lollipop, including the themes app. And it comes with this MM launcher, which is very weird in my opinion. So you can always change it back to anything you want. So I was just going to home and open Asus Launcher, which I installed from the Play Store. Now, as you can see, if you go into display, you can see that it does include the option for changing fonts, which is present in .78 Lollipop. So you can go in there and a lot of fonts has been installed. And we have another article on the website for adding new fonts. And the link for that will be down in the description below. Now, moving on from the fonts, as you can see, we have the Zen Motion over there. So you can uh, activate double tap to wake up and double tap to sleep. So, and that feature works flawlessly for information. And as of battery, there has been no battery lag as of all. Okay, so I'll just show you the cell standby is for 17 hours and 51 minutes. So that's pretty much 18 hours. And as you can see, we have lost around 28 percent of battery so that's around one percent per hour with of course no screen on usage so that's pretty stable there are no battery drains and i found that the signal lost the signal was not lost so often okay so there was no loss of signal and even if you switched over to airplane mode you can just head back into you know switch off the airplane mode and your network would come back now some apps are missing and a lot of new apps are present Okay, so you have the universal init.d app, you have the Viper for Android, okay, you have apps ops exposed, you have the Beats for Asus, okay, you have CPU Spy installed, you have the Pixel Master Camera app installed, you have Kernel Auditor, you have a few Asus apps is pre-rooted, the music app is changed to Walkman Music app, okay, so I'll just show, give you a quick view. Okay, so I do not have any music files right now on this device, so it won't show any songs. But that's the new music player or the Walkman Sony music player. So the things that doesn't come with this ROM would be the uh, browser, which is quite important. You also have the prevent running application, which is you can use to freeze. Of course, if you would have noticed that there is, it also comes with the exposed installer app installed. However, the framework is not installed, so you need to flash the framework before you can actually use this exposed. And the link for doing that is down in the description below. Again, you also have the themes manager. Okay, so, but what I found out is that even if you install some theme or choose some theme and download it from the Play Store, it won't you know, appear here on the in installed list. So to show that, we'll just head over into the installed applications. And as you can see, we have the Zen Silver Asus Zen UI theme installed. But if you go into the Themes Manager app, and you won't get the new app or the new theme to be applied. So that was pretty bad. Okay, so if you just head over into the icon packs for the launcher, as you can see here, you can get the Zen Silver icon pack, but you cannot change the overall system theme. So that was a letdown, and besides that, everything else is pretty cool. Okay, so as you can see, you cannot apply the Zen Launcher theme, and there are no ways to apply the overall system theme. Besides that, of course, this ROM comes pre-rooted, and it also comes with the free Root Explorer app, which is actually an app for purchase. It's not a free app, but you get it for free, so that's another new addition and of course there's the mm launcher as i was saying and it's pretty dull of course it has the messenger application so it doesn't have asus messages and it has the google messenger app okay and most of the bloatware is removed unnecessary asus apps and unnecessary google apps like you know google books and google movies and stuff but you can of course always install them from the google play store 
Now, as you can see, the final verdict would be that this is very stable. So if you want a lollipop ROM with everything working, this would be the best ROM to go for. It doesn't have any battery lag or you know battery drain and it's very stable. Everything works and you do not lose signals like you would do in Gecko 2.5 ROM and there are no battery drains. And of course, you get a lot of apps pre-installed which you wouldn't have otherwise. So this would be your go-to lollipop ROM for the ASUS Zenfone 5 if you haven't installed this one. So, but this does require you to unlock your bootloader so if you had uh you know freezing issues or no camera found issues on any other rom it would also be present in this rom because your motherboard is not supported for the bootloader unlock so thank you guys for watching this video a new build of resurrection uh, rom is out it is now at build beta 7 so we will review that the next thing up so if you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video